Hi guys. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and checking in with me. Tata, okay, what did you say you wanted? Waffles. You, yeah. Do, do you really want a waffle over a hamburger? Well, I guess so. Okay, hamburger. What else do you want? Do you want a hamburger? I'm asking you what do you want. Okay. Hey, babe, what do you say you again? This video is about my birthday. I turned 29 on the 29th of September. It is officially my golden year and I am super duper excited about this journey that I'm about to embark on. It's been crazy. It's been a crazy year. Um, a crazy few years to be exact and I'm just so ready for the change that's about to come so it's official I'm officially 29 it's my birthday yes it's my birthday year I just really wanted to reflect on the year I had and what that means for me entering this 29th year. If you guys did not know, nine is the number of completion. So it's very cool and it's very a very spiritual time for me. It being the last year in my 20s and it's funny because I was just watching one of my videos. It's titled Surrendering to the Universe and it really just sums up kind of how I was feeling or how I am feeling in this moment in time. My partner and I was just having this discussion about where did I see myself at this age and to be honest, I don't think i seen or imagined myself where I am today, but I always tell everybody that I accomplished everything that I ever dreamed of. I truly did accomplish my wildest dreams there is one thing left that I need to do, that I need to complete to make that statement finalized. And I'm actually very, very close to completing that said mission. I'm super excited, but that's neither here nor there. We'll, <laughs> we'll wait for that. Um, we'll wait for that, we'll save that for later. But what I did learn this year, which I was referring to back in the Surrendering to the Universe video, is I really, really thought that if I had certain things, um, I would be able to accomplish a lot of my goals. And it's really just what Bring me my favorite this, apple juice. I could get this, and if I had this, you know. <laughs> Set of these, I'll be able to do this. And it really, really did throw me for a loop because in the beginning of the year, I just felt like when January hit, I had every opportunity, every means that I needed to make my dreams come true and to really excel my life in a different direction that I've been wanting it to go for years now. And guys, when I tell you I fumbled the bag so hard. I just fumbled. I, I just couldn't I couldn't believe it. It was 
everything that I wanted, everything that I worked hard for, I just felt like was in the palm of my hand. I just had the opportunity to get it done and I fumbled it, guys. I fumbled it. So ever since then, you know, I haven't been, I haven't been sitting right, you know, I haven't been in my right mind truly because to me it's almost like imposter syndrome like who are you and it was really a rude awakening of do you truly want what you say you want or are you thinking that these things will bring you the happiness that you crave or maybe a peace that you might crave in your life and with that being said, you know, it really is really hitting me hard in this in this point in my life because I just want so much more. I have a beautiful, beautiful family. Um, I am a mother. I am a sister, a soon-to-be wife. I am so much more, and one of my biggest goals is to be a mentor and and if you've been on my page for a while you you know that's why I create my content that I do is because I didn't really have a mentor I didn't really have family that knew what to do in this lifetime and don't get me wrong I don't think anybody knows what to do in this life but I didn't have a loving family around me. Um, I, I literally grew up with just my mom and my, my four brothers, so that's all I knew. Oh, that's nice, Papa. Kind of to a predicament where I see everybody around me struggling. I'm struggling myself, and just to have no one to just just not have no shoulders to lean on, just to not have the information, like it's just crazy. And I couldn't imagine, you know, how my life would have been if I really had like a, a strong role model in my life to teach me some of these really basic things um, about mental health and, and just really the mindset part of life the mental health part of life so that's kind of where I focus on now and that's just where I'm at I I just feel like I wasn't ready yet and I still might not be ready yet but my number one goal is to get ready if you've been following me for a while you know that I just started this amazing transformation journey this year and it's very fitting because there has been a couple of things that i've been working on for this past decade that i just want to complete i just i'm really ready to dream new dreams and have new goals and i want to be able to say like yes i did that like i did it and that's all I'm focusing on in this golden year is being happy, doing things that makes me happy and that aids to my family's success, my success. Our health is number one priority and I'm just ready. I'm ready to change my life. I've been saying that since I was a little girl I always had a sense of I need to change like something about me is just so off I feel like I just need to change 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 um, I could get it tattooed across my forehead how much I think about it but I think that's really a big part of this transformation journey I want to know what this change means really to me and and what do I really get from that what do I really get from changing these aspects of myself but most importantly I am 
documenting this journey of transformation. And I know that there's people in this world that struggles with depression and anxiety and overthinking, um, not feeling worthy, just really low negative vibrational stuff. And I had no one to guide me out of that or to teach me how to deal with those tough things that literally I feel like the whole population goes through. So I kind of just want to own my own crap (laughs) in a sense. I I just want to own my shit, really. Excuse my language. And, And really just deep dive into this path and this journey of self-discovery to literally just become the best person I can be for the people on this earth and the people around me. My new motto is be a light. I really, I really want to live by that. Um, I really just want to be a light to people, to anybody and everybody that I come across. I don't want to put out any negative energy I don't want to hurt anyone I just want to love and I want to spread love and I want to mentor people to do the same to be a light for the people that's around them and then hopefully humanity would change and you know life will no longer be what it is Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. As a matter of fact, if you're listening to me uh, ramble and talk right now, please drop a comment down below. You can let me know um, if you're going through the same thing, if you kind of resonate with what I'm saying a little bit, or just drop your name so I can see you. I definitely want to support the people that support me and and check in on me and do all that great, great stuff. The version of me that you once knew is no longer valid. I am beyond ecstatic to start this new journey in my life and really become the person that I always dream I can be. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please, 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 if you made it this far in the video, please leave a comment down below and let me know if you were able to resonate with anything that I said or maybe you're going through something similar or even just comment your name so I can see you like you see me. And on that note, cheers, you guys. Cheers to this 29th year. I cannot wait to watch back this video and be and complete all about the transformation that's about to happen. And I'm ready. I'm ready to to finally be ready. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Until next time.